This is Crystal Finn with MedPage Today here in San Francisco at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting, where VEGF inhibitors continue to play a starring role. One study attempted to answer a lingering question, would more be better? I spoke with presenter Lito Wu about his results. Uh, there are several papers that look at the levels of intraocular VEGF in different pathologies. And by far, the highest um, amount of VEGF is found in eyes with central retinal vein occlusion. When Phil Rosenfeld published his two case reports um, four years ago, he used the same dose of 1.25 to treat patients with exudative AMD and central retinal vein occlusion. So we wa what we wanted to do was to test whether or not um, a higher dose would have a higher effect with regards to better vision, better uh, outcomes, and less injections. At the end of two years, there were no statistical differences between uh, either dose. Both doses were effective in improving vision and improving the central macular thickness, but there were no differences between the 1.25 milligram dose and the 2.5 milligram dose and also with respect to the number of injections. At this point in time, uh, I think that we are going back to the 1.25 uh, milligram dose. So standard dosing for intravitreal bevacizumab appeared vindicated in central retinal vein occlusion. Here in San Francisco at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting, I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.